You know, and uh, the best warrior competition in uh, 2020 uh, was suspended due to the pandemic. Um, so it was very disappointing, I think, uh, for all the soldiers and airmen and definitely disappointing for um, the senior leaders in the state. Um, so this year, um, we're looking a little better. We are able to um, conduct the best warrior competition, uh, e even given some restrictions uh, with uh, COVID-19. So very exciting uh, this year. And being that, that I was appointed to this position um, uh, at December of last year. This is my first one. So it's great. And I'm really proud to see all the uh, soldiers and, and the airmen out here together uh, as uh, well with the uh, DC National Guard. Um, so they have soldiers and airmen out here. So it's great to train together and have this joint experience. And so they're doing a great job and morale is high and we're excited. You know, nobody joins the Army or, or the Air Force uh, to telework and to do Zoom calls. That's, that's not what they want to do. They want to be out here on the ground doing their job. And, you know, out here we're focusing on those skill level one tasks. So uh, even with the restrictions, uh, this organization is resilient and we found a way to continue to stay ready. And, and now that uh, some of those restrictions have been loosened a little bit, uh, we're able to get back after it. And I think after one year of, of the telework and, and those sort of things, these soldiers are extra eager to hit it this year. So morale is super high and we're really excited this year. So there, there are some differences. I know with the, uh, you know, with the Army Combat Fitness Test, um, um, so right now we're not we're not doing the ACFT. Um, we're not doing any kind of record event uh, to hold those events against the soldiers or the airmen. So we're doing the OPAT, which is another physical fitness test. Um, so uh, it, we're using those standards uh, to score the soldiers and airmen. And so easy fix. Again, you know the leadership showed some resiliency there and, and how to get around those other restrictions. So right now uh, we have 25 competitors and we're. We're looking at about you know 30 plus uh, support staff um, and, and uh, the DC National Guard they've also su uh, supplied us with some support staff as well and uh, and really my hats off to the team uh, that's come together uh, to make this happen and, and uh, uh, they worked really hard we've been planning for about six months uh, basically for a, a three-day training event so a lot of work has went into it and uh, really proud, especially proud of the staff. When we ask for volunteers to compete in the best warrior competition, it's natural to have that fear of the unknown. Do I have what it takes uh, to compete at this level? And, uh, and I encourage soldiers and airmen, hey, listen, get outside of your comfort zone. And once, once you get them to do that and they come up here and they, they, they take part in this training, they find out that they were a lot better than what they thought they were. And they come out of this with a lot of knowledge that they can take back to their organizations and, and conduct training from what they've learned here. Um, first, I mean, it's a volunteer basis, so they're here volunteering to be able to basically test their own metal. They want to see what they have within themselves and how far they can push themselves. So not only physically, but also mentally and just be able to drive through. Um, with it being that volunteer basis, although we do, you know, want to, we do encourage them and then we go and we try to get as many as we can to go ahead and to try out and compete. Um, you can see the numbers that show up here. They're the ones that really made it through everything uh, to get to this level. And it's more about what it means to them. I mean, they represent the, uh, the District of Columbia and, I mean, both the Army and the Air. And what they've been able to accomplish here and what they are accomplishing and what they're going to take away from this um, is really about for them and what they're learning, what they're experiencing, and then how they're going to take that back. And they're going to actually share these experiences and hopefully just continue to grow not only the soldiers and airmen, um, their desire to be here, but also grow their leadership capabilities within our formation. The leadership is absolutely, and, and they wanted to be here today, although the op tempo just wasn't uh, enabled them to be here today, but extremely excited and really looking forward to what he's able to perform and what he's able to do and take back to the wing and with that leadership and experience and with the experience here and be able to grow this. Not only this, because this really is um, for us, the district, this competition here is identified within the district, but hoping so that next year we can actually get um, um, where the Air Guard is able to compete at the regional level as well so that we can actually let them go one step beyond the state and the district and actually compete against other um, within the, uh, other Air Guard within the district. Yes, last year was unfortunately unable to to do the event, be able to come out here with West Virginia and everyone and actually be able to do this. And 
it, it wasn't just all because of COVID. There was a real world mission and what was going on and just the what it takes to be able to do that mission was just, it drew from other things that we'd like to be able to do. Mission first, training is something that we always want to do, um, but we have to be able to hit that real world mission that we have. And so coming out here this year, despite everything going on, uh, the competitors wanted to compete. They wanted to be here. They wanted to take the time away from everything else they're doing, add that extra time on top of their mission, on top of their civilian careers, on top of the family time. They took on that responsibility so that they could come here and still compete and represent the district and as well the state has um, the state that's here as well West Virginia the biggest piece for this is to um, for these soldiers and airmen to go back to the representative states and districts and and to share their experiences and I, and I say that um, please share those experiences please talk about this experience and this is going to be one of the things that you're going to remember for the remainder of your career and those of you out there who are either watching this or, or talk to these soldiers and these airmen get excited about it and come out here and do the same thing and learn and grow with your battle buddies and your airmen and everything together